Hello again, my friends. Today is the first segment of my series, so you only have 10 minutes. I'll be using the May 2021 Show Us Your Sheet Load Sketch from Alicia of Call Me Crafty Owl. I do these every month. I take the sketch, I cut the pieces off camera, and we start building the cards 10 minutes at a time. So let me show you what I have. I'll be using Rich Raspberry Stampin' Up ink. I have some rose washi tape. I can't remember where I got it, but it's really pretty. And I do have, these are leftovers, the printables that Alicia of Call Me Crafty Owl had. And you can also get that. I will find the video and link that. And then I'm going to be cutting a couple of other pieces to finish up the cards. There are going to be six total. So here's the pattern paper that I used. I'm using. This comes from a product chair called Petal Garden, where the demonstrator cuts it up in six by six pieces for us. And we get to sample a lot of different kinds of paper. So I'll be using that. And these are the colors. And then because I did not have the exact colors that were in the paper, this is Blushing Bride. So that's going to be my matte paper for both pieces. And then this will be this back piece here. Now this is going to be the five and a quarter by four piece back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my rose folder, embossing folder, and my texture boutique to emboss these first before we put them on the card. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. 10 minutes on the clock. I'm making six this month. So that's why I decided to go ahead and emboss because we will probably get through this a little quicker this time. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Oh dear. That did not sound good. Hmm. Let's try this again. I don't know what I did wrong, but it made a horrible sound. Okay, that's better. Okay, yes. Sometimes I don't need to put that extra piece on. This right here. Because the embossing folder is thicker. So I found that out the hard way. Okay.
this aside and start putting it on the cards. I'm going to be making landscape like she did. I thought I had ordered some more tape runner, but I guess it, I didn't. So I'll be using my combo, which works just fine. Probably not going to get much done than this today. You learn as you go. <laughs> Great, I'm running out of glue. <sighs> yep. Okay. What do they say about if anything can go wrong, it will? Hmm. All right. Let's see if I have enough for this one. Okay, good. All right, there are, those are attached. I was thinking as I was putting these on that there was another way to do this too. There's always different ways to do things. Okay, so we're going to put that one on there. Like I said, it's kind of a contrasting color. You see a little bit of the, the blushing bride inside the rose. all these on first.
Okay. There we go. Okay. So, I did get three of these matted, and then all the five and a quarter by four pieces are on the card now. So, we will pick up where we left off. Thank you so much for joining me, and please stay tuned for more in the coming days. Bye-bye.